School officials say one of the students injured in a serious crash in Brighton is showing signs of improvement tonight, and that has certainly brought a sense of relief to the community. Family members say Scott Collins, who was seriously injured when a car crashed into a school bus less than a month ago, is now able to breathe on his own. I'm Rich Funky. I'm Janet Lomax. The family says Collins is still in need of a continued treatment, but he is at the beginning of what will be a long road to recovery. In our top story tonight, Joe Angel Concepcion joins us now live in the studio. Joe Angel. Well, Janet Rich, it's been weeks since this terrible crash. Collins has been at Strong Memorial Hospital ever since. The driver and other passengers in that car suffered non life threatening injuries. Collins is the only passenger that remains in the hospital at this hour. The Brighton School District released a statement today on behalf of the Collins family. It says, quote, Scott is breathing on his own but is it but is in need of continued treatment. Scott will be undergoing acute intensive therapy at a specialized facility. He is at the beginning of what will be a very long road to recovery. The family would like to extend their deepest appreciation for the incredible warmth, kindness, and support demonstrated by the Brighton School community. Each and every car and well wish is both shared and appreciated. End quote. Now, the accident happened off of Warren Ave back on October 9th. Police say John Zakari was speeding down the road when he slammed into the bus. The driver and three passengers in that car were, were rushed to the hospital, all lucky to be alive. About a week later, police charged Zakari with a number of violations including reckless driving and police have also issued several tickets along Warren Avenue. They've been monitoring that area since the accident. Police have even taken it a step further and placed a smart trailer on that road about a week ago. Brighton Police Captain Robert Klein tells us the machine is monitoring speeds and also the amount of cars that travel down that road. He says there are several throughout the town on streets that have caused concern. This being one of them, of course. Police plan to turn in the results to the town. Captain Klein says the town will ultimately decide if there will be any changes to that road in the future. And the school district has been providing counseling services to students and faculty members since the crash, and they tell us they will continue to do so. And also, I spoke to the mother of one of the passengers in that car. She tells us she was too emotional to go on camera, but is happy about the news. She told me the family thinks about Scott Collins all the time and are still praying for his recovery. Janet? A lot of people thinking about Scott Definitely. Collins. Joe Angel Concepcion, live in our studio tonight. Thank you. And now